Sit up straight, eyes on me. I'm Petty Officer Sperry. I will be your lead RDC. Petty Officer Ten will be your second RDC. Petty Officer Gonzalez will be your third RDC. Together, we have eight weeks to transform you and United States sailors. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's gonna make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. You will not be coddled nor disrespected, but you will be held to a high standard. Our job as your RDCs is to turn you into basically trained sailors. Your job as recruits is to do what you're taught and give us 100% motivation. You'll all be treated the same, no matter your sex, cultural background, religion, or sexual orientation. There are no individuals in the military. We are many, but we operate as one unit. For this team to be successful, you have to work together. If you fail, the team fails. Get on your feet. Get up. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. My name is Petty Officer Sperry. I'm a recruit division commander at Recruit Training Command. All divisions start off basically the same. They're, they're very scared. They don't know what, what they're supposed to expect 49. during their eight-week training. 51. Turn your head. It's easy. Say your number. 51. 52. 52. 53. No. Pay attention. Stop. Stop. Pay attention to what you're Turn your head and say your number. 59. 60. 61. As you were. 63. Pay Wait attention. Wait for the person in front of you to turn their freaking head so you can say your number and then you go after them. I'm Chief Petty Officer Stigall. I'm a recruit division commander here at Recruit Training Command Great Lakes. Processing days, that's where you're issued on your, your initial issue, Diddy issue. They have their basic medical indoctrination, but they get a series of shots. So during that week, you get a lot of shots. You get kind of everything you need to continue the rest of your training. The shots were, were not fun. Age of 21. We got dental work done, which we just finished today. It was long, a long, long process. Everything that you do is with a purpose, and you do it to the best of your ability. We want to give them a shock, and we let them know that, you know, you haven't even started training yet. You haven't even begun to experience exactly what we're about to subject you to. And then you start teaching them the very basics, how to stand at attention, how to salute, how to do facing movements, left face, right face, about face. Learning how to fold things, learning how to do things correctly. I gave you 15 minutes to shave and brush your teeth. We are going on 25 minutes. This is unset. Let's go! The first few days of boot camp, that's when recruits don't really know what to expect. So when you start yelling at them. You understand? Yes, Petty You're here to get better, not to stand freaking lazy. You understand? Yes, Petty Officer. And don't stand like that. I shouldn't be repeating myself when I already trained. Some people really have a negative effect to that, and they don't like being talked to like that. And then some of them understand the process and understand that that's us being on them 100% all the time is what's going to make them a better sailor in the end. You know, I don't, I, everything they do, I don't take it personal because I realize they are training me to be a sailor. It's a lot of tough love. Um, and it's like, I know that they want us to succeed again. I know that they want us to do well. You know, they've all been through this themselves. Um, they have gone through a lot of training themselves to be RDCs. So trying to just remember that and give them that equal amount of respect um, really helps me get through it. They've been, they've been good. Like they'll, they only really, um, again, if you're doing the right thing, they're not going to be yelling at you. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Then why are you here? You're two, three, zero. Get across the freaking hall. All right. We have to yell at them a lot and get them to understand that we need them not just to react to what we're saying, but to react fast. We're going to make it uncomfortable for them. We're going to make it so that they are able to, one, have confidence in themselves and their abilities, um, but also be able to deal with the stress. 
And so that's why we create a stressful environment. That's why we keep the temp up. What did your RDCs tell you about failure? If you fail, who fails? The whole team. Your initial PFA is tomorrow. You need to understand that if you fail, you will get set back. So tomorrow's gonna be a reality check for the recruits. It's gonna be their baseline uh, PFA where they're gonna be required to run a mile and a half, do a number amount of sit-ups and push-ups. Some won't make it, so someone's gonna go home. Ugh, I wanted to pass out and just die. <laughs> like, give me a gallon of water, let me drink it. So we were all really stressed about um, who was gonna pass and who wasn't gonna pass. Let's go, Jones. Let's go. Get up there. Come on. Don't think about it. Let's go. Come on. Five more. Five more. Give me five more. I happily that I didn't. I wasn't able to pass it. I'm glad. So hopefully I can pass the next one with a better score. With the PFA, um, I knew I was ready. I was ready for it before coming to boot camp. But the day before, I got really, really sick. Still, I felt sick during the PFA, but I just pushed because I didn't want to get separated. And so that PFA baseline is just that, it's the baseline. It's not even the actual PFA standard. And if they can't meet the baseline, then they probably need to go find something else to do. I don't give a crap if you're tired, if you think the sea bag too heavy, you came here to serve, so own up and do it. Week one of actual boot camp, they can expect to be staying up late, long hours, working at a fast pace. They're gonna be expected to pass their swim qualification and expected to march as a unit. And those are all things that we're training them from the beginning in P-Days. They're gonna have to bring it together week one and make sure they're performing all those tasks. So in P-Days, we, we are loud and we are aggressive with them, but we are instructors at first. We teach, we're teaching them everything. We take our time, because come week one, then it's not, we don't have time to train every little thing over and over again. They need to learn it. So when we're telling them at first they need to pick stuff up and this is how it has to be done, come week one, we expect that to happen. So when they start failing during week one, then they're actually held accountable for their actions. Anything that you were before you came here, you wait goodbye to that. That's gone. Because as long as people in this world want to take your life because of where you live, because of where you breathe, you must be ready. And if you're not ready, we don't need you.